Hello everyone, welcome to ServiceNow 911. Here we are committed to provide you valuable content that will save your time. Today we are discussing a very common problem that is a parsing of Excel. Many times we got this requirement and it is a kind of headache because parsing a Excel which is coming from some other source could be troublesome. But not anymore. I got this requirement to parse the Excel submitted by a user. Okay. There may be many ways, but the way which I am giving you is the easiest one, which I think. So let's start. So my approach is load that Excel into the import set table and easily read it from there. It's very simple. Anyone can do this. You need not to be expert here. Okay. Let me show you the steps and then we will go to the practical. The very first step is import set table creation. So here you need to use the load data module and load the Excel for the very first time and it will create the import set table. Once we have the import set table ready, then we have to find a way to get the Excel from the user. So for that, I have created a record producer and I am attaching that Excel into that record producer. Okay. And from that record producer, I am sending that data into the this data source that is the data source table. After the record is created with the Excel in the data source, then we are loading that Excel sheet into that import set table. And once it is there in the import set table, go ahead, read it, do it whatever you want from that data. But you have to remember that the Excel must remain the same. Because if you change the structure of Excel, obviously you have to recreate the import set table. So without any delay, let's go to the practical part. So this is my demo instance. We have to do the very first step. I have this file ready with some sample data. Okay. So let's go to the load data. Here create the import set table. Let's give demo Excel sir you can give any name commit let's go to the loaded data so now my import set table is created this is the table okay now the second step is to create a record producer so this is the record producer which i already have created the table name here it is important this is the data source so we are sending the data to the data source table from excel Okay, so here we have to write the script. So I have the script ready. Let me show you. Uh, just a minute. Let me copy the name of the import set table. So here the complete script is ready. Here we are updating the fields of data source table. We have to update the name of import set table to that one which we have created. Okay, rest all is the same because we are using attachment. And it is a file it is an excel so you have to only change the name of the import set table here then the next step is load excel into the import set table this is the code which we have to use it will automatically load the data from excel into the import set table that is udemo excel parser and it will update the state as a loaded okay this line will avoid creation of more than one data source record at a time and at the last we are giving this message okay so just copy this code and we have to put it into the script here let's save it okay so we are ready here let's try this record producer try it please upload the excel to parse let's Attach the Excel here. Parsing data. Submit it. Our message is here. Okay, let's go to the import set table. These records were previously created when we have loaded the data manually. Let's refresh it. Uh, you see the records are double now. It means another 24 records are now into this table. You see how simple it is. You need not to worry about any complicated things. Your whole Excel is now in this import set table and it is in pending state. 
now our next step is to read this data okay so for that also we have a script this script is divided into two parts in the first part we are querying the import set table and getting the records very simple glide record name of the import set table paste it here so here we are querying based on the pending records okay so here let's print something let's open this let's print the asset ip okay so i am printing the asset ip here for all the records and after that we are setting the state to processed and updating that record okay once we are done with all the records in the import set table then we are going to the import set and updating the state of import set as well because this is the best practice so here also we have to provide the name of this import set table i think this script is self explanatory let's copy this i'll show you in the background script here you see the import set so this is the import set which we have created passing data okay it is in loaded state so now let's run this script so you see the script is working it is running and it is reading the data from import set table so indirectly you are reading the data from excel okay let's see what happened to these records refresh it you see all these are processed because we are done reading you can do whatever you want from this data i have just printed it but you can do according to your need let's see the import set it is also processed so officially you are done reading the excel without any hassle you just need to remember if you change the structure of excel then you have to create a new import set table by using load data functionality for the very first time rest all we have discussed and i am very happy to share it with you if it is giving any value to you then please subscribe to the channel and share it with all your friends thank you so much have a good day bye bye